should cooperate, <laughs> fingers <laughs> crossed, yeah. because we will have to wait until uh, whew, a, a while for this other eclipse to get underway, like 20 years or something like that. All right, so here's what's happening. Uh, some high clouds during the afternoon as the eclipse gets underway. Temperatures will be above average, but maybe cooler once we get to that peak time. We have some showers and storms in the forecast, as well as milder temperatures moving in tomorrow. Temperature-wise, 29 Poughkeepsie, 30 Brewster, 31 Ossining, 39 in Spring Valley. Across the board here, mainly 30s and 40s, but check this out, Montgomery at 28. Much chillier conditions. Now, everything should be really start to get underway at around the 2 o'clock hour. Now, peak time for the solar eclipse will be at 90% here in New York City, 325 p.m. If you want to experience the totality, you have to head further north, like Niagara Falls, as well as uh, Rochester, Syracuse, Buffalo, those areas. You may get some cloud cover and be high, thin, cirrus clouds, and then partial eclipse ending 436. So the entire event should be around two and a half hours or so. Just take a look at current conditions. Satellite and radar, very quiet. Winds out of the north, northwest. And these showers moving through the area, they kind of fall apart. They dissipate as it pushes further east. We'll get some clouds in and around the area. High pressure will keep us nice and dry throughout the course of the day. Not too far behind. We have a cold front. Now here's what? Maybe a sprinkle or two, but that's later on tonight. Not a washout. Temperatures well into the 60s, but as I mentioned, may dip a little bit during the eclipse as the sun's rays blocked by the moon and casts a shadow. So taking a look at around the 11 o'clock hour tonight, a few scattered sprinkles, nothing to write home about. We clear out back to sunshine tomorrow with some more clouds moving through the area and then a greater chance for showers as we head into Wednesday. You'll need the umbrella and then Thursday stormy weather, heavy downpours, thunderstorms can't rule that out and gusty winds and it'll stay pretty gusty into Friday. So there's a look at your seven day forecast AM rain windy on your Friday, but take a look at temperatures tomorrow. Warm and pleasant cooler for your Wednesday, but rebounding into the 60s thereafter. Now we'll send it over to Alex Lee with the latest.